a rainy good morning from Gdansk. Yeah, isn't looking too good to weather. But I can't be lucky every day, can I? Gotta get myself some equipment, a umbrella and a hat, because I have neither. <laughs> Gdansk really is a beautiful city. If you look at all the buildings here, they do remind me a bit of Amsterdam of all places because of all the like tops there as you see. They're really nicely done. Absolutely gorgeous. I only have seen this square yet really. Yesterday I had a meal here and then I went to sleep but yeah still wonderful city and uh, my hotel gave me a umbrella for well free so I have to bring it back of course but still very nice Even on a rainy day today, it has got its flair with the street being all wet and stuff. Probably not that many people as usual. So well, it's got uh, autumn vibes. Also today is Halloween, so you see the pumpkins everywhere. Probably a lot of parties going on today in the night. They were not lying, they were not kidding. This is very beautiful. Everywhere you see those tourist trappers, like I encountered and dodged like four of them when I was walking here. <laughs> and, uh, here you go. Man, those are annoying. This is like the first time I've ever seen that in Poland. That never really happened in Warsaw, Krakow. Well, this is what it is. I think I need to go back to the historic center. Here is like regular city. But anyway, very nice experience, even without nice weather. Basilica Mariaka of Gdansk, alright. There you have it. That's a really impressive one. Man, this street looks like in Amsterdam. I can't, can't think of any other city I've seen this. Well, maybe Antwerp. So, first impression is pretty, pretty good. Very touristy. Now, I know I've only been in the, you know, historical district, so of course it's touristy. But more than usual. photo am I a gangster holy shit am I a gangster 
and cursing inside of a church. I'm a real bad boy, I know. Forgive me. We're now inside of it on the roof and I am gonna go on top of the tower. You must not be lazy. A lot of stairs. You must earn your view. No elevator for you. Here we are at last. Here you see the port of Dansk. Ferris wheel, all the kennels here, some industrial sites. Where's the sea though? It's probably hidden away in the distance. Yeah, downstairs is a lot easier. <laughs> so I'm currently in the port, as you see, of Gdansk. Now when the Uber driver <laughs> did drop me off here, I was like, dude, are you sure? But yeah, he was right. The tour company is actually here with those old boats. Oh, no, not that one. Uh, some really old boats. I'll show you some classic boats. Uh, this looks here like in the movies where they meet up and do some drug deals and then a guy gets beaten up and stuff. You know what I mean? The perfect film set for this sort of stuff here. <laughs> Joking aside, we have here some really large ships. Look at that. You see here, those are those boats. Gonna be interesting. Thankfully the rain has stopped because huh, that wouldn't have been fun. Live boards first on the front, second uh, on the stern. Okay. <laughs> Higher was used to 
put mass on the ship. It was covered by four huge wheels. Hevelius, an astronaut, and Arno Garner Street for Fahrenheit. Or you can notice a picture where behind the tree and the white dog, sometimes I think but we have green gay, uh, green bridge, sorry, and next to green uh, This was it. My little holiday in Poland is over, unfortunately. Tomorrow I'm going home. I'll visit one more thing though. I'll go to the Westerplatte, which was the beginning point of World War II, basically. Starting point, which is a very sad landmark, but important landmark. So I'm gonna visit that. And then I'll have to fly home from Gdansk to Warsaw and Vienna. So all in all, a beautiful city. I hope I could bring it across a little bit. Um, definitely take that boat ride if you can that was really really amazing very cheap and awesome views so Kdansk is a wonderful brilliant city to visit it's it's definitely underrated um, it's probably one of the most underrated cities I've ever visited it's so beautiful and hardly anybody knows about it so yeah that's it um, over and out from Gdansk definitely Poland's most beautiful city Right here on September 1st, 1939, the Second World War began. Here, all those events that you all saw on the news, hearing stories from your grandparents and whatnot, and reading and history books and learning school, all of those events. But World War II started here. Very sad. Here's where one nation brutally attacked another, the Germans, the Poles, and they occupied them, of course. And we all know what happened then. It's just sad that such stuff is still very present in 2023. Still happening around the world, not even far from here. That makes me just super sad. Westerplatte, here it is. So, and with this rather sad note, um, I'll end here my holiday in Poland. I'm going back to Austria today. And yeah, it were a great few days here. Gdansk is a wonderful, gorgeous city. I urge you to visit it. It is really wonderful. And uh, yeah, always love coming back to Poland. It's my third time here. Surely won't be my last. Thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one.